today we are going to be installing the oxygen LED utility light in the front of our oxygen helmet. It goes right in here. It's an accessory and if your helmet already has that light I'll also show you how to change the batteries in it. But I really like with the BB2S I had an optional flashlight on the side and it was handy as anything in the dark. So this thing here goes right in the chin. It's going to provide us a real nice handy light at night and uh, I'm looking forward to using it. So let's get this thing installed right now. <laughs> I have a couple of protective pads here just to keep the helmet from scratching on any hard surfaces. But there's, uh, there's red tabs, locking tabs, here and here on your helmet. You have to remove the back of the collar first by just pulling down on the, on the liner to release that snap. We're going to go over to the other side. We're going to pull up on it. We're, gonna, we're going straight out. We're going to pull up on it and then the back liner will come out front liner is held in with little clips and they go straight out like that. There's the front clip there. And just gently work your way around the whole front of the liner until it all pops out. So you can see there's one there's four clips on the front. Hopefully you can see that red tab. That's where the back liner was attached. You see there's there's two screws in the nose piece here. We're gonna remove those. Let's unvelcro this nose piece too. It pieces in like that as well. We'll get rid of that. And then the light piece is removed by tilting up on it like that, and then it'll pop out like so. That was just a little plug that fell out. So this is what we're looking at here now. We've got an open hole, open cavity. We've already removed this piece from the front and this little fake light that goes in the light hole. That's what fell on the floor. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. It even comes with a screwdriver. Why didn't I open that box up first? We'll go to replacing the batteries in a second, but there's your on off switch for the unit. And that's the LED light. That's the piece that the wind deflector for your nose it Velcros too. So we'll put that aside. We'll tip the helmet back up. Even comes with two new screws. Let's use those. So they are a bit longer than the originals. So we'll use the new screws. The switch goes to the bottom, your chin. And the Velcro goes up because that's what your nose, that's what your wind deflector has to stick to. So the same way we took it off, we, we're going to put it back on. We're going to start by, you see these two tabs here, it goes behind the tabs. You see the little notch out here, that's for the light, to, to put the switch to poke through. So we're going to put that in like that. There we have it. The light is in place. See the bulb here. There's the LED bulb. Just make sure it looks like it's all fitting in there, right? And then let's go to changing the battery. So once the light's installed, you could even have your chin curtain on the on the uh, helmet. You see the crease of the flap here, hopefully. To change the batteries, we just remove the two little screws here, and that comes off. And it takes two AAA batteries but I'm going to use these Panasonic Alkaline Plus. So they're, they're usually for high power, long life items. LED is very low power, but we'll use them in here because I, I like them. They're a good battery. That snaps back into place. Everything's tight. that screwdriver in my helmet bag just in case I ever have to change batteries. Then let's have a look at this thing. It's 
pretty bright. Should be pretty effective. Hopefully you can see that. So it's a nice rubberized button. It should be easy to it should be easy to operate with gloves on. You hold it for a second and it turns on. You don't have to press it hard. It's just a very light, very light touch. Yeah, that should be pretty effective, I think. Especially with the visor open. should be good. I mean working with your hands is really bright. Okay let's put the chin skirt back in call this done. Okay now we have the LED light installed it's trying to put the uh, the skirt back on the helmet. We had the chin pads out so I'm just gonna put those back into place. There's velcro at the top by your ear and then there's uh, there's just little snaps here. Hopefully you can see that three of them. Just like that. For the nose area, you'll see there's two tabs there. We're going to slide those, we're going to velcro that in about center and those tabs slide down in between the liner and the helmet, just like that. Close that up and then we'll put this in the exact opposite way it came out. You'll see it's even form, form fitted around the switch. And there's little pins in there. You'll feel when it hits the right spot. There's not really a whole lot of guesswork to it. Just like that, it's really positive fit. And then we're going to put the back in like so and work your way towards the front of the rear liner okay, like that remember those red tabs I showed you just make sure that that clicks into the red tab okay it's got to fit nice and clean and then I don't have that clipped into the red tab it's actually sitting beside it so just just maneuver it around I want to be in the slots of the tab and listen to this it snapped right into place right there and there you have it you can pull that out like that I love that chin curve on this helmet by the way it's pretty good I wish the back was longer, it's a little short, but there we go. That's how you installed an LED helmet light in an oxygen helmet.